Hello everybody. I have now my new equipment, so I'm in a position to very accurately measure inductance, capacitance and resistance and also I have a, a digital function signal generator which gives me a very precise possibility to measure my coils and resonance. So as you can see what I measured with my previous LCRs was 4 microhenry on the coil. In fact, it's not even half of it. So that's, that's the first thing. So when you, when you start to measure them and you, you used up um, any kind of, of tables, um, probably we can't trust them much. The best thing is, is if you have a good piece of equipment and you can measure that, that's your best choice um, you have. To, get, to go forward. Now that is a coil directly measured. Now bear in mind any wire you connect and I mean you have to be very careful what wire and the thickness of wire you connect you increase inductance. So let's go to the end of the queue via um, the spark gap. Let me have a look inclusive all the wires how much inductance has changed. So my assumed 4 microhenry or 1.7 microhenry all of a sudden are 5.1 microhenry wire so coil. And there's another thing you have to bear in mind. I use this cable. Very, very bad choice. This cable has a high resistance and make a bit difference. So that's also not accurate to do it this way. I should really cross connect that with a very, very short cable then it would be much better. I give you a little overview how much difference it makes to use such kind of crocodile clip. It's a really really a bad choice for such kind of system for measurements. As a little test I have connected now here a little crocodile clip. We have 0.41 ohm. That's so a hell of a lot. Now let's connect this one, this is a 1.5 mil cable, it's good for around um, 3 kilowatt. Let's measure the resistance of this cable. So 0.001, that's 250 times less resistance. So it's very important, whatever you do here in such kind of system, make sure you use the best and the thickest cable and the shortest lengths. Otherwise, you get errors with calculation all over the place and you have a hard time to find the right value for your Tesla coil or for your energy system. So looking now at finding the right capacitance, I used two 1.4 nanofarad in parallel 2.8 and used my air capacitor here as a trimmer. As you can see, I have nicely the possibility to change my capacitance here. And now we have around 5 micro um, Henry on inductance. So my calculated value for 4 micro Henry was 3.5 nanofarad. So I should be around 3 nanofarad. I should reach the, echo, the frequency of 1.35 megahertz. So as you can see here, very very nice adjustable. I think 3.5 should be to 8. Get 3.6. No, 3.5 is the maximum I get out here. Uh, almost 3.6 nanofarad. Yeah. Before we go continue, I'd like to talk a little bit about how to measure your resonant frequency in a, in a lumped circuit like this parallel uh, LC circuit, circuit. So you connect in parallel to the inductor, you connect your signal generator. However, I'm sure if you can see that there is a 10 kilo ohm resistor connected to the signal generator. So oscilloscope probe goes directly. So if you would connect them both in parallel, so they're both 
technically parallel. The only difference is that the signal generator has a 10 kilo ohm resistor in between. If you would not do that, you would measure the signal generator and not the resonance of the coil. Very important to note. So let's continue. So the system is now in resonance to 135 megahertz. Um, did a sweep but changed it to nanosecond period. It's easy to see because this one changes the um, so voltage and tells me 740 nanoseconds, which is confirmed here on my um, digital um, function generator. Um, I did choose um, to connect my um, counter as well, so that you see it in, in in value. So if I change now the capacitance here, as you can see, a slight change. That's a quite good, nice value. A slight change in the picofarad area has a dramatic, tremendous impact on the performance. Well, that's a very nice value. Well, that, that's a very, very good peak. I've changed now the setting on my counter because if I go higher with the frequency, it becomes a bit. I have to go to the second channel. So that is, um, the Q is, is, is much lower here if I go on the second one. But um, regardless, at least it, it's accurate. Let me, let me just briefly um, go through and sweep up. To 40 megahertz to give you some impression on the rest is um, harmonics because it become quite strong here 30 megahertz even stronger 37 40 it's peaking for the peaking to 60 that's two three times as much however the signal doesn't look too bad actually. Well I haven't worked in that frequency yet on the system but that's something worth to investigate to um, tune the whole system at a much 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 higher frequency. Let's go back Here we are back. Things. Yeah. We're moving on now to the bifilar coil. I have now connected the bifilar coil. I use the same 3NF. I cannot rely on the inductance which was measured here to give me a resonance frequency. So, what I'm going to do is I sweep through the whole frequency range up till 40 megahertz and see what's going on there and then find my way through to add or remove capacitance but let's have a look how that system performs using the same 3.5 nanofarad you can see there's not much going on so this is definitely not the right value for the bifilar coil let me scroll so manually through the frequency. As you can see here I have a strong contender about 13.5 megahertz. And here, as you can see, at that range, capacitor is is really really here in a resonance and the 3.5 nanofarad making difference but that's 13.35 megahertz let me continue goes down 20 29 30 goes up again out go down well that's quite a lot wow now here again the cap I trimmer makes a lot of a difference but we're talking about 34 mega mega hard at the moment let's continue 
so it's the 33, 34 is quite a lot. So bearing that in mind and assuming that a higher cap will me go will me get me down to the frequency I need, I will do that now. <laughs> 